Hi traders, this is AlexFX. I'm looking to take a scalp short on the pound US dollar here. We've broken out of this uh, consolidations range, broke through support, and we've now come back and retesting the trend line. And looking at this level right here, sort of 689 uh, area, you can see the nice area of support broken through, looking for resistance to hold. To so move it to the five minute chart, you can see the range that we're talking about here. and. I'm looking for a pop up into this level here to get short. All right, so we've just been entered short on the trade. You see the pullback, that's a nice drop, and we've retesting this area of resistance. See the working order right there at the moment. And I want to just put a stop loss in place here, just in case we get a move uh, retracement back into this level, and then take profit level. I'm looking at a few areas below, but we'll see how price reacts now. What I'm going to do now is we've got this area. See, price is sort of holding at resistance here. I'm going to get my stop down a little bit. We've got this base of resistance above us, so hopefully it'll protect us. Remember, we're scalping here, so we're looking for small movements. Uh, so we're looking about uh, 12 pips if it pays down at this base right here you can get a surge down there I'll just wait and see what price does all right so we've had this little bearish candle close here and uh, so it's good for the trade so resistance is holding and see we're testing that trend line at the moment and we've got this base of resistance right here so my stops behind that and We'll see if price can stay below where it's currently trading. So the 30 minute chart here, we've just had a 30 minute candle close now. See this bearish candle closer. It's closed outside the range and outside of this sort of wedge pattern. So move for a retest. Uh, or possibly could get a retest. We've had one on the smaller time frames. Possibly get a retest on the 30 minute. So I just must stop out of the way for now. And here's the 15 minute chart. So we've had that nice bearish candle, nice momentum pushing to the downside. Price is retesting uh, resistance. Here's that trend line that we're also using it as a confluence level. So have a look at the five minute chart. Price is still holding at resistance, still not doing anything just yet. Uh, I'd like to see some follow through to the downside. Have a look at the one minute chart here. Get a real zoomed in view of what's going on here so we've got this level of resistance it's hold we've had a bit of rejection currently a pip and a pip and a half two pips up at the moment get some momentum following through here so what i want to do i want to get some risk out on this trade and i just want to be a little bit careful about getting my stop too close to that high this price very often just spikes up to hit more stops That provides a liquidity for larger larger flows. All right, so we've got this little base here. Price is currently trading below. I'd like to see it hold. All right, so we've just had this spike up. You see this big rejection here. That's a, a handful of stops, and this provides a liquidity for larger players or larger traders um, to avoid slippage. So you see our stops still safe. I want to see some follow through momentum here. We've got this little base now, this area of support here. You see that cleared. But we're going to see uh, our target hit. All right, so price is shifting through here still. I want to see the the buyers not come in here. If they're going to come in, this would be the area I would expect them at. So we're getting a nice momentum push, nice candle close here. So bears are in control, currently six, uh, six pips, five pips up at the moment. You can see it changes very quickly when we get into these areas, these smaller time frames. So looking down towards this uh, 77 area, what I'm going to do, I'm just watching price closely here. I may look at taking half the position off. I just want to watch and see what price does here. Currently four pips up. So five minute chart. There's a higher time frame view. 
and a few candle closes here showing signs of rejection and then you see this base down here is area of support that's sort of my 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 final target that I'm looking at let's go back to the one minute so we're pushing back up now and you see we into resistance so this is where I would expect further sellers to come in at I want to see some follow through we've had a little reaction there and obviously we've got this little trend line here so price is hopefully going to retest the back end you see it's retesting that area of resistance now we'll see if the momentum follows through all right so we're pushing through nicely about uh, just shy of seven pips at the moment I want to watch and see what price does here I'm trading for momentum here, so you want to see that follow through immediately. If not, at least you want to take some profits. So we're looking down at the base, and you can see how we're getting that, that rejection back up now. All right, so we're getting another retest and resistance holding, which is good for the trade. Currently, six, 6.9 pips up. Kind of go down this level already. So I really want to see a nice bearish close, or just tell me who's in control here. Here's seven pips up at the moment. So looking for that follow through momentum. So we're slowly getting some rejection here from the bulls or the buyers. So let's see what this candle close does. It's so obviously very quick in terms of execution speed, so got to be got to be on your toes because you can see how the pips disappear very quickly. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm get the stop to break even uh, with this close, so there's no risk in this trade anymore. And I want to see this level currently where we're trading. I want to see it holding as resistance. Here's the five minute chart, and you can see the two candles showing rejection. Right into your base of support at the moment. So back to the one minute, and this is where I want to see some sellers come in at. See this level right here. I see the resistance area hold. All right, so we're getting some sellers coming. Let's see if we can get that momentum following through again. So pushing down here, we've had a nice close below. So what I'm going to use with this candle close, I'm going to get some uh, risk. I wouldn't say risk, but just get the stop down. So we've actually locked some profits in on this trade. So watching this closely, I'll potentially follow through momentum here. Then I'm going to look at taking some profits. Still no follow through at this level. So we've had this five minute close, nice momentum shifting to the downside here. Let's see if we get this follow through now on the one minute. Still no sellers coming in there. Eh? All right, so I've now taken half my position off at uh, just on, on the five pip mark. I've got a stop, uh, move down we're locking a bit of profit on the remainder looks like we're going to get it taken out here all right so i've just dragged the trades onto the chart uh we got stopped on the remainder of the position uh for plus 2.5 uh so overall uh, we made an average of just under four pips remember we're scalping here so we've got to be uh, pretty quick and looking for small gains so I hope you found that helpful. I'm Alex FX and thank you for watching.